What's going on guys? Today our next project on my 92W250 is going to be we're going to replace the valve cover gaskets on all six cylinders because I have a leak. I've noticed that over time and checking my uh, oil level it goes down and it's been down below the safe level and I've had to top up the oil a bit. So I was trying to figure out where it was coming from. I thought I had a leak on the bottom of the vacuum pump, but I haven't seen anything drip from there. And then I started to look around my valve covers and everything's wet. You can see where it's dry and then wet and that's all the oil. What I'm guessing is seeping out from the valve covers because they're bad. It seems especially bad at the back here. That's just from the passenger side. And then here's the driver's side. You can see in there. And it's soaked back there. So we, I picked up some gaskets. And they're Velcro gaskets. These blue ones. For all six cylinders and it came with these o-rings for the bolts so we'll uh, change them out see how the old valve cover gaskets are and then uh, hopefully that stops the leaks these costed 49 dollars canadian these felpo gaskets and the part number is right there we're going to start by removing this decorative cover and then we'll remove all six valve covers. And when you take off the valve covers, all you have to do is take those bolts out and then lightly tap on the side with a rubber mallet to break them loose and then just pull them straight off. Okay, so we've got the decorative cover off and we pulled out all six of those bolts. Now we can break loose these valve covers. I can break loose. They're all pretty loose. I'll just hit them with my hand. Okay, we'll pull those straight off. Okay, so just taking a quick look at these mating surfaces after pulling off of the valve cover gaskets, it's clear that the leak has been caused by debris underneath the gaskets. So when you go to do things like your valve lash adjustment, um, it's important to clean up the surfaces to the best of your ability and get rid of all the gunk in the area so when you put each valve cover gasket back on there's nothing trapped underneath it like that where oil could seep out so we're going to go ahead and clean up these surfaces um, clean up the surfaces as best as we can and then we can go ahead and put the new gaskets on okay so we've just finished cleaning up all of these mating surfaces i'll show you real quick how much better better it is. There was a lot of stuff in between these uh, surfaces. It's like a little valley. It just collects dirt and debris. And I noticed right there, it's marred up a tiny little bit. So maybe we'll dab a little bit of RTV on that. Um, these are all pretty clean. Number five and six. It's hard to get back there. We got most of it. <laughs> okay, and the way we're gonna do this is we install the gasket on the valve cover first, and then we'll just place them on straight down without getting any debris in between the two mating surfaces. Okay, so we've also changed the O-rings on all of the bolts. What we did was take the O-rings off, clean the bolts thoroughly, and then put a small film of oil on the new O-rings that came with the gaskets, and then put them on the bolts. Now we'll put the bolts on of all the valve covers and torque them down to 18 foot-pounds.
Okay, now we're gonna torque all these bolts down to 18 foot pounds starting at the back. Okay, then these little spacers for that um, cover go on the front and the back ones. Um, then we cleaned up, thoroughly cleaned up the, the fancy cover and we'll go ahead and put that back on. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> All right, and that wraps up the valve cover gasket swap. I've read online that um, there's a little bit of debate about the Felpro gaskets not being as good as the OEM Cummins gaskets, but as long as you clean the mating surfaces properly, then you shouldn't have any issues. So hopefully this helps if you're looking to change your valve cover gaskets and get rid of those leaks. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.